So I'm back. Um, I had a little break. I had an Estus flask and I sat in the garden for a little while and contemplated my life choices and realised that in the last video I got very frustrated and I wasn't in the right frame of mind. But I still think it's important to have uploaded that because it shows that this game is challenging. And, you know, a lot of uh, playthroughs and walkthroughs, people are quite skilled at the game and they don't get flustered. But I think if you're going into new areas, you're bound to find places that test you. Whereas, to be fair, Catacombs is really not my favourite place that, I, you know, I've found out so far. But like I said before, we're probably halfway, not even halfway through the game. Anyway, so I'm going to reverse my hollow in, if I can, because I want to be human, because I don't like being looking undead, and we've got, well, we've got quite a lot of humanity, so I'll just use one, no, I'll use two, uh, because then we can kindle the bonfire as well. And all sorts of buttons here. So I'm going to use a twin humanity so I can reverse my hollow in and I can kindle the bonfire. Eventually I'll get there. Okay, let's use one of these. And now we can do all that stuff. So my mission in this episode is to get my souls back. And it's not even the souls that I'm really concerned about, it's the the humanity. Because the more humanity you've got, the more you, you find items. And also, when we get to Anor Londa, I'm going to want to kindle the bonfires there. Um, because I've been in a situation before where I did play Anor Londo and I didn't have any any um, humanity so I had five Estus flasks and it was a, uh, a nightmare so basically I stopped playing it then but this is some time ago so it will still feel like a fairly new experience in Anor Londo I know I can remember the, the beginning but not the whole lot but anyway, what I do remember is having five Estus flasks and not being able to continue, so... Okay, let's continue. So I think we killed all the necromancers, so we should be able to just use our normal sword now. Although I think this club does more damage. Yeah, I think the club does more. So basically it's the, the bonfire that I rested at, we're pretty much starting again, but we haven't got the, the necromancers to deal with. <coughs> and yeah, the club is much better. So yeah, really I don't want to use my Estus Flask unless I have to, but I can't imagine me getting through this without getting hit. But yeah, I'm going to try and uh, yeah concentrate so that I don't. I really don't want to lose all that humanity. So I suppose the first challenge is trying to remember the route back. Now I remember going down, so I guess we'll we'll do that. So that's, there's that, 
Yeah, it's so confusing and my sense of direction isn't particularly good, to be fair. I remember playing uh, Silent Hill 1 with my brother and it used to drive him crazy because I was constantly getting the map up because I'd lose my direction within 10 seconds of moving. If he's watching, I'm sure he'll remember that. And the thing is with Dark Souls, you don't have a map, so you can't keep referring to it. So yeah, we'll keep heading on the path. But yeah, that was a great game, Silent Hill. Um, really creepy and uncomfortable. Whereas this is more, I feel like it has the potential to be a, uh, like a horror game, but it's it's more of an action game, I think. Okay, I think I recognise this place. So that's the gate we opened. And I think the route we took was down here, where we fell to our death. Okay, like <laughs> like he just did. Uh, there's my souls. Good. Okay, good. Sixteen thousand eleven humanity. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna equip the. Didn't pick it up, did I? The ring that if you die you don't lose anything. Pack ring. Yeah, I didn't pick it up in the undead burg, and I remember now. I was like, oh, I'll get that later on, and obviously I forgot. So I'm gonna have to just hope I don't. Now, last time I rolled off, and I rewatched my last video. And there is a platform here, so I think we should be able to just, yeah. And I'm guessing the same here. Yeah, good. Green Titanite. Now, is there another platform? Oh, God. Don't say I've got a homeward bone. I think if I walk off. <laughs> okay. And I can hear a blacksmith. Well, we don't want to spoil his focus. There's a bonfire. Okay, let's rest it here. Let's rest. Okay, so let's go and have a little chat with this undead. Well, I mean, I think everyone's undead, but he looks partic particularly less meaty than most of them. Hmm? Why, you have an ember, do you? Ah, forget about it. I don't deal with that kind. What has gone wrong with embers these days? Fair enough, it doesn't like my ember. Homeward bones, titanite shards. Hmm, it doesn't really give me anything I need. I suppose we could repair our... Repair our stuff. I don't know if this is even necessary, but I'll do it anyway. If that'll be all, then be gone with you. 
Okay, I've got 11, so I'm going to use one humanity to kindle this bonfire. Just so we always get our maximum, maximum Estus, because I might die. There's a good chance. And he broke a wall down, didn't he? Where is that wall? Here. So this must be the route. That doesn't look good. Jesus, these things. Where did it go? Right, how do I kill these? Do some serious damage. Wow. Okay, I need to use my sword, I think, it's faster. Um, okay, let's try this again. There's my souls, get them first. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to have to try and get them one at a time, I think. And make sure I always die near here. Okay, there's one there. Here he comes. Okay, that's one out. <laughs> God. Another one. There's two. I can't remember how many there were, but... There's a skull over there. Two skulls. Some items that I can't get. Okay, there's another one there. Look. Try and aggro them. Any more? So I either go left or right. Right looks more appealing. Left has got these. Try and get them near us. I think I can take them. Let's see. Haha, <laughs> blocked. Ugh. Okay, so there's a route here. Oh no, no, that is not what I want. <coughs> yeah, that's not what I want. But we're gonna have to fight him by the looks of it. Yes! A parried, <laughs> a parried one. But if you've been watching, you know my track record with these things. Which is not good. Uh oh. 
back, back, bring. My fear of black knights is over. Yeah, normally them things really, really do me in, so... So I'm not going to go that way. There's an item there, I don't think I can get that. Okay, what's down here? I really wish I'd pick that ring up at Undead Bird now. Right, this could be the boss. Just see if I've got any anything I can put on my weapon. Gold pine resin. Okay, I'm gonna use this. This must be the boss, mustn't it? Because I've found another bonfire, killed loads of stuff. Okay. Let's go. Oh no, don't tell me I've wasted me resin. No, I haven't. Good. Yeah. I do remember this boss. Okay, so I'm assuming. Okay, it's that one. So, yeah, his health is really quite low. So he was easy, but I remember the model was really cool, I like the three faces, so I remembered that bit. So we just killed the boss, good. God, this place. Okay, so we got the right of kindling, which means I think we can kindle the bonfire to plus 15 maybe or maybe more if you use the humanity which is useful and we got some souls a humanity and a homeward bone um, and did we get a soul item from him as well uh, no so you just get the souls okay so we've defeated him mask of the mother what does that do? Uh, I can't tell from there. Because uh, we're not actually wearing any kind of headgear, so if it gives us some some stats or something, it might be worth it. Bleed resistance 10, magic defense 12. One of the three masks of the pinwheel, the necromancer who stole the power of the Grave Lord and reigns over the catacombs. This mask belonging to the kindly mother raises HP. Alright. That's good enough for me. Let's see, it. Let's see what it looks like. And it looks quite light as well, I don't think it's going to slow me down. I mean, you can see the extension on my hit points there. 
So yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. I mean, you don't look at my face that often anyway. So that's fine. So how do we get out of here? Okay, so we got our souls and we got the mask and we killed the boss. Is there anything around here? And there's a note here. Now I'm playing offline because I don't need the drama of players attacking me. So this must be an actual in-game one. Shortcut ahead. Really? Right, I can't see anything. Lots of weird stuff there. And we did pick up a lantern, didn't we? Um, let's see if we can equip this. Where is it? No. So it must be equipped on the offhand, maybe. Oh, okay, so I hold the shield button. Okay, I don't think I want to go that way. Now this said shortcuts. I feel like I'm being tricked. <laughs> well, there's a soul item there, which is good. Is that the shortcut? I mean, I could just bone back to the bonfire, but I don't think I can get anywhere from there. That must be the shortcut. Let's have a look. So really, yeah, I want to get... Okay. So this is where all them skeletons were, the, we the wheelie ones. Don't know how to get that. Or that. This is where the blacksmith was. And if I rest there, all these will come back to life. So there must be another way back. Must be where that black knight came from. Yeah, I really don't want to reset everything. Oh. There's a ladder here. Because I think now I can get I want to get back to Firelink Shrine. Because then we can start moving into Sen's Fortress. And get to Anolondo. So that's the that's the plan. Another ladder here. So hopefully this will be working us uh, our way back back up out of the catacombs. 
And we are finding some items, which is nice. That looks like that's a titanite dangle. Nestle in coffin. <laughs> okay, <laughs> why not? Wait, is this one of them like the crow's nest where you have to wait? There must be a reason why they're letting me lay it here. Ah, oh. patience. Remember what I said in one of the earlier episodes that this game rewards you for patience. to a new area. Maybe this. I have seen this in a in a video. I don't think the Grave Lord sword and a miracle. Yeah, I have I've seen this on a uh, on YouTube. If offer eye of death. Let's see what it does. I've only got three, so I'll do one. Oh, it just enhances your loyalty to the covenant I guess I don't know what that means so how do I get out of here so did I did I even need to do that don't know I'm not sure if that did anything. I mean, I got that sword, so I'll have a look at that once we get out of here. I don't want to fight that Titanite demon. I just want to get out of here. This place has upset me. Let's have a look at this uh, weapon. Yes, it's got quite a high, um, quite a high damage by the looks of it. It's only 413, so I can wield it, and it does. It's purple. Well, that's blood, poison maybe. So it does poison damage, or if that's the symbol, I can't remember, but it does something. So. Might as well give it a go. Let's swap it for this. I'm not sure if I I'm not sure if it's for me. I'm 
see what it's like on the damage front because I do like the clay more. I like I like the more traditional medieval weapons as opposed to the you know fantastical weapons. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use the club for the skeletons and the clay more for everything else. Unless you want to see me use that, then yeah, just chuck it in the comments, but... Alright, let's get out. Skull took care of that one. Right, let's get out of here. So my aim is just to keep going up at every opportunity. I mean the club is better than the claymore down here. But I don't know if it's better generally. I'll, I'll have a look. But to be fair, I, I enjoy using the clubs, the club against undead because I just like the image of them just shattering. Even though it's not portrayed in the game, but. I think this is where we switch the bridge. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah. See I know after you get the Lord vessel you can walk between bonfires. So I think later on if we'd have done this later we might have been able to just walk uh, but I don't know. I don't know if you have to uncover the bonfire first. But we got a load of souls so we can level up. We got the the ember for the bonfires. So yeah, I think we're doing alright. Oh nice, so the skulls kill the skeletons, which is good. I mean that one just jumped off the cliff. I mean got blasted off the cliff, so... Okay, I'm just going to get past these traps. Isn't the way out. Oh, Here we go again. So that's the way we. Oh, because we originally came through this door here. Right, oh, okay, I know where I am now. saying that. That's where I came in.
Right, yeah, I recognise this place. This is where we... This is quite near the entrance, so we're, we're doing alright. Just want to get to Firelink's line, where it feels safe. There's an item there. Must have missed that. Scimitar. Okay, so that's that. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's good to try and think of landmarks. I remember that wall, I tried to break it. And that was quite early in. through here if you can hear that that's my cat he um he misses his mummy but yeah whenever she's not here once he starts feeling like she's gonna be coming home he'll start start crying like that if you heard it if not I just sound like a madman Is this the way? Yeah, that's where we had to go down and open. So there's a bonfire there. I could rest at it, but I don't think I need to. Because this is pretty much the exit now. I mean, we do have to do the whole graveyard bit. But we've killed enough skeletons now to be comfortable with that. you come from? Mind you, can... Ah, oh, there is a ladder. <laughs> That's good. I panicked then. I thought, oh no. We haven't got to find another route. Alright, there's these things. So yeah, with those skulls, there's a certain place that you can block it. You must have to just be facing them direct, otherwise they get you. Oh, sunlight! Oh, that's uh... So hopefully we don't have to go through there again, because that was really shit. I can't think of a, another word for it. Okay, let's, let's get back to safety. I feel really slow. I think, um, must be this club. I didn't actually manage to pick up any large titanite, which is a bit disappointing. I might have to, off screen, just go and do a bit of large titanite farming, just so I can get my claymore to plus 10. Okay, we're done with skeletons, let's unequip that. I don't know why I'm so slow. Must be this mask. Hmm, doesn't make much difference. Okay, there's Framp. So theoretically we should be able to give that ember to the firekeeper down here. So we can boost it and I I'm not gonna I don't want to be under under ten humanity, so Okay no. 
not there either, so I don't know where you do that. Okay, let's just become human. Now this bonfire is already kindled, so so yes, I can kindle this flame if I want to bring me up to plus fifth, uh, 15 Estus flasks. I'm not going to do it on this bonfire. What I am going to do though is end the episode here and this one was much better than the last one um, and I think you really do have to be in the right frame of mind to play this otherwise the slightest things can be quite annoying. Um, but yeah anyway we got through the catacombs, killed Pinwheel, got the Ember, and yeah, I think in between now and then, I'll um, actually I'll level up first, so, just so you can see where I'm putting my points. So I want to. Okay, so like I'm gonna put one in vitality and I'm gonna put two in endurance. Whether that's the right thing to do or not I don't know, but more vitality and more endurance is bound to be better than not having it. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thanks for watching. Um if you enjoyed what you watched please subscribe and like and do all that stuff and also it would be nice to hear your comments especially if there's items I've missed although as I've said before I'm not going to do a full playthrough but for other people it might be handy for them to know if there's items I've missed or parts of the game because I'm pretty much guarantee there are big parts of the game that I've probably missed um, but my aim is to play through, enjoy the experience and get through to the end. Um, and yeah, so that's that's how I'm going to keep playing it. I don't, I'm not going to be researching the levels, finding where all the items are, picking them out. And I'm like, no, I just want to get through the story, get to the end. Um, yeah, so once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.